Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Jasmine, aka Dash with Jazz, and I talk all about cooking, traveling, and living well. Today we're in my kitchen again. I have a cocktail recipe for you again because it's just that season, that season of sipping. It is summer. It's just right to have an ice cold cocktail in hand in my opinion so i'm gonna keep bringing it to you until i get tired or you tell me to stop so today's recipe is one of my favorites it's a gin and tonic that classic refreshing super simple drink but i've turned it up just a couple of steps um, it is a spiced pineapple gin and tonic which again perfect for the season tropical a little fruity a little sweet for this recipe you will of course need gin, use whatever your favorite kind is as always, tonic, hence the name, and then some fresh lime. These three ingredients are the original classic gin and tonic recipe and it is pure perfection. It's just an easy thing to make when you get home. This recipe is still easy but a little uh, a little more flavorful. So I'm going to use my brown sugar pineapple simple syrup. I already have a video for this up on my channel. I'll drop a little um, box for it so that you can click and get that if you don't have it yet. It is your basic simple syrup recipe made with brown sugar instead of granulated white sugar and then there's fresh pineapple and ginger in it and all of that just infuses with the syrup as it cooks down and cools. So the flavor is here. <laughs> this is where the spiced pineapple part comes from, the ginger, pineapple, and brown sugar. And I have some fresh pineapple on deck just for, you know, fun little garnish, uh, but we won't actually use it in the drink. Let's get into it. So this recipe starts with a highball glass filled with ice. So we're going to make that happen. I'm gonna go about three quarters of the way ice. Then we will add two ounces of gin. So that is one full of the large side of the jigger. And then a splash more. And what I like to do is squeeze the lime juice into the gin and tonic. The original recipe just calls for you like dropping the little lime little in there. I like to have the lime flavor come through a little more strong, so I will just take that wedge, give it a nice squeeze, nothing major. Next, the brown sugar pineapple syrup. I told you about for that flavor. So for this, we're going for one ounce. So I'm going to fill up the small side of the jigger, which is three quarters of an ounce. And then a little more. And I can tell you that this already smells so good. Next step is to top it up with some tonic water. And I mean, that ombre effect is gorgeous, so we are going to mix it up just for uniformity. Make sure that you have a consistent flavor experience with the drink from start to finish because I personally just hate when a cocktail tastes like really sweet at the top and then really strong at the bottom or vice versa. I just I don't care for that. And I want to give you the best too. So that looks good, right? I'm going to take it up one more step with that classic gin and tonic lime wheel varnish. Like that. Bring the drink back over, get the knife out of the way. And I'm just going to slide it in like that. The pineapple garnish. You can taste the pineapple in this drink, but you want people to know what's going on from the outside. So we're gonna add a little pineapple to the side like that. Pineapple 
gin and tonic. And there you have it, spiced pineapple gin and tonic with just one extra ingredient from a classic g and This is what you need to be sipping on for the summertime. If you enjoyed this recipe, let me know with a thumbs up on the video. Comment if you have any questions. I would love to hear from you. I will answer you ASAP. Last thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I put out fresh recipes and content like this for you every single week. Thanks for watching.